So I simulated a US state battle royale where I put all 50 states plus DC and Puerto Rico against each other in an all out brawl until only one remained. The state picked by the wheel will randomly attack one of its neighbors and either win and annex them or lose and be annexed. Annexed states will also have the chance to rebel at random points in the video. And let's just say the results were interesting. Our first state attacking is Texas. All right, the Cowboys are making a move right off the bat and they'll be attacking in New Mexico. All right, seems like Texas is trying to get back its old Western claims, but let's find out if that'll work out for them. Oh, narrowly. They've narrowly won. A little too close for comfort there, Texas, but they do take New Mexico. And there we go. New Mexico is gone. The state we have next is gonna be Maine. Hmm, yes, they have a lot of choices of neighbors to attack. Man, I wonder which state they're gonna attack. No, wait, New Hampshire? Who could have seen this coming? All right, but are they gonna pull out the wind, though? No, they are not. Now New Hampshire has just consolidated a massive portion of the Northeast. But who knows, maybe Maine will rebel later in the video. Now it's time for Wyoming to attack. And they'll be going after Nebraska. Yeah, this isn't a beef I was expecting to see. And it seems like Nebraska will actually come on top. The Cornhuskers will now be giving us these beautiful borders. Okay, now we have Iowa going after Minnesota. Okay, apparently the Midwest is very active. Unfortunately though, this attack has backfired on Iowa. I like how Texas has been the only state that's won one of these so far. Seems like Minnesota's Viking blood really came in handy for this. Next, it's Wisconsin versus Michigan. Man, we seriously are not leaving the Midwest. I guess Wisconsin's trying to finally get that panhandle, and they'll do it. The rest of Michigan is really just a bonus for them. Now we have the formation of three new Midwestern powers. Surely this will turn out fine. Okay, we have New Hampshire again. This time, though, they'll be going against Massachusetts. The fight for New England is really starting to heat up. But unfortunately, New Hampshire is knocked out. I'm pretty sure Massachusetts used to own Maine anyways, so I guess they're just reclaiming their former land. Okay, Texas is attacking again. Why am I not surprised? And they'll be fighting against Louisiana. Texas is trying to conquer the Gulf Coast, I see. And once again, they will succeed. Texas is really not letting anyone else get a chance. Sorry, Louisiana, but it was over before it even started. So far, the map is looking pretty interesting. I am curious when California will make a move though. Also, we have yet to see any action from Florida. You know they're hiding something up their sleeves. But anyways, now it's Pennsylvania going against West Virginia. It's good to know that no matter who wins here, the borders will only get worse. But it seems as if Pennsylvania will be the one to do that. Ah, uh, it's even worse than I imagined. Next to attack is Kansas, and they'll be going after Oklahoma. Man, what a shocker. Another war in the Great Plains. But Kansas will Will not be winning this. Now Oklahoma gets to gain a border with Nebraska. I'm kind of surprised that literally nothing has happened on the west coast. It's suspiciously peaceful over here. I don't trust the Mormons. They're definitely up to something. Looks like Mississippi will be going on the offensive. Since they border Texas, there could be a conflict about the breakout between the two. And to be honest, any one of the states bordering Texas, if they defeat them, will gain a ton of land. Looks like Mississippi will be going against Arkansas though, but they narrowly lose. I mean, considering Mississippi's ranking in most statistics, I don't think this is that surprising. I think it's time for our first rebellion, though. And it looks like the first place to be annexed, New Mexico, will be making a comeback. They've overthrown Texan rule and returned to the battle. It's not looking too good for Texas, as their empire is already collapsing. With New Mexico back, the next state to attack is Illinois. The conflicts in the Midwest just don't stop, do they? And they'll be going against Minnesota. The battle for the Great Lakes is really heating up. Ooh. And it looks like Minnesota will be taking this one. They've now taken Chicago and completely isolated a part of Wisconsin. Though this means they have less borders now, so I don't really think they're complaining. Okay, now we have New Jersey fighting Pennsylvania. Now either Pennsylvania gains a coastline or New Jersey inherits the worst borders on the map. And I guess it's gonna be the latter. Ah, New Jersey, you've never looked better. Now any state in the Northeast will have to go through New Jersey first if they want to expand to the rest of the country. I also think they can actually rival New York now. So now South Dakota, ooh, is going after North Dakota. Looks like the South is trying to unite the North under one banner. Will they be able to do it though? They will. At long last, we finally know which Dakota is best Dakota. The Midwest is really starting to clean up a lot, but still literally nothing out of the West Coast. Also Alaska and Hawaii have not done anything either. Apparently this 
side of the map is just very peaceful. The same can also kind of be said of the southeast. We haven't really seen much there either. At this point, I'm just expecting Florida to soon sweep the entire south. For our next state, we have Florida finally making a move. I told you they were cooking up something. And they'll be going against Georgia. Florida man versus the Peach State. Let's see who'll win. What do you know? Florida man comes on top. Florida's great expansion over the entire United States has begun. Texas now has competition in the Gulf Coast. It'll be interesting to see if these two ever do get out directly. No way. No shot. Bro, there is no way. There is no way. What did I tell you? What did I tell you? The Florida man has awoken and he's out for vengeance. Let's find out who will be Florida man's next victim. Oh my god. North Carolina. I see we're trying to make the worst borders possible again. What a surprise. Florida man wins again. Wow. Shocking. <laughs> okay. Poor South Carolina. They just got completely surrounded. I believe Florida is now tied with Minnesota and Massachusetts for the most states conquered so far. Oh, and New Jersey as well. And who will be attacking next? Arizona. Okay, we finally have a state from the West Coast doing something. And they'll be trying to take down Nevada. So it's gambling versus the surface of the sun. Let's see who'll win. And Arizona pulls out on top. Well, now we have the reverse problem that we had at the start of the video because now everyone is winning. It's time to bring another state back though. And it'll be West Virginia. This is a major hit to the New Jersey Empire, but a massive W for clean borders. Ooh. Now New York is attacking Connecticut. And will they take it? No. Now all of New York is territory of Connecticut. Oh, how the mighty have fallen. Funny how the Empire State didn't actually survive long enough to make an empire. The next day attacking is Texas again. Most of the states haven't even attacked one state yet. And I think Texas is on like its third state now. And they're going to be going after New Mexico for the second time. I guess they're looking to reconquer their rebellious territory. Mm. But unfortunately, it will not work out for them. This is a crazy redemption arc for New Mexico. First, they were conquered by Texas. Then they rebelled from Texas. And now they're conquering Texas. Their former overlord has fallen. And now they've become one of the largest states on the map. Dream big, New Mexico. Dream big. We're finally getting some Puerto Rico action now. But since they don't actually directly border any states, they'll be able to conquer any state on the East Coast. This one's definitely going to be interesting. Oh, <laughs> looks like Puerto Rico is going after New Jersey. First, they lost West Virginia, and now they're getting attacked by Puerto Rico. New Jersey really can't catch a break. I stand corrected. Well, I guess the entire island of Puerto Rico is now sovereign New Jersey and territory. But this is actually pretty bad news for them because it now means that they can be attacked by any state that has a border on the Atlantic Ocean or the Gulf Coast. Hmm. Looks like Kentucky will be going after Virginia. I'm pretty sure back in the 1700s, Kentucky was actually a part of Virginia. So this will be interesting to see. Oh, and the colonel pulls it off. Kentucky now has a glorious coastline from which to explore expand their empire's influence. Soon, all of America will know the taste of the famous 11 herbs and spices. We have Missouri attacking now against Minnesota. Let's see how this will turn out. Ooh, this is huge for Minnesota. I believe this makes them the first state to have conquered three other states. They, along with Florida and New Mexico, are really killing it. And yet, California has yet to do anything. I mean, to be fair, they are like the world's sixth biggest economy, so they're pretty much chilling with what they have now. Maryland's finally making its first move, and they have it out for West Virginia. But West Virginia takes the W. Both of our revived states have taken massive W so far. Speaking of revival, I think it's time for another rebellion. And it looks like Pennsylvania is back. New Jersey just cannot keep itself together. First, West Virginia leaves them, and now Pennsylvania rebels as well. If it wasn't for Puerto Rico, they'd literally be back to where they started. Next place attacking is Oklahoma, and they'll be facing off against Arkansas. But it looks like Arkansas will be winning this one. This is a massive expansion for Arkansas with them both gaining Oklahoma and the former territory of Kansas. They've now made a major incursion into the Great Plains. Looks like we finally have a state on the Pacific Coast that is making a move. And they're trying to take down California. Things are really starting to heat up over here. Can they do it? Yes, they can. Oregon's now dominant on the West Coast though. Now Alaska is finally doing something and they're heading straight towards Washington. I mean, I guess I 
that kind of makes sense since they're the closest state to them. And they do it. The polar bears have now landed in the lower 48. Speaking of the lower 48, the map's looking a bit, uh, funky right now. I like how India and Ohio have just been, like, chilling the entire time. Also, all four of these states have really just not done anything. It seems like most of the action has been in the middle of the country. Ooh, now we have Vermont attacking, and it looks like they'll be going after Connecticut. This could be the start of Ben and Jerry's conquest of the Northeast, and Vermont wins it. And now they're finally getting that coastline. Now it's South Carolina's turn to attack. Well, I mean, they don't really have that many options. But actually, though, they can attack New Jersey because of Puerto Rico. Looks like they'll be facing off against Florida. If this is gonna go the way I think it's gonna, I'm sorry, South Carolina. Of course. Of course. Florida man wins again. <sighs> Looks like Florida claims yet another victim. And they've got a good chunk of the eastern seaboard now. Hmm. The big sky country, Montana. Going against South Dakota. I think they may be trying to take revenge for the north. We'll see though, we'll see. Never mind. They've become yet another state fallen to the hands of South Dakota. Unfortunate. And Hawaii's finally showing up. And they could take out either Alaska or Oregon here. Either way, they'll make a massive gain. Assuming they win. They're trying to take down Alaska, its fellow non-lower force. 48 states, and they will win out. Hawaii has gone from a tiny island to now the largest state on this map. Now it's Utah versus New Mexico. <laughs> yes, they do share a border. It's right here. This is gonna be goofy. It doesn't matter who's gonna win this one. It's just gonna look goofy either way. Let's see, Utah or New Mexico. <laughs> Utah! And this is great. The Mormons take all of New Mexico while barely, just barely, ordering them. That's definitely the most interesting expansion yet. The Northeast has been a little quiet for a while. I haven't seen much action from here. And I don't think we've ever seen any wars from DC or Rhode Island. All right, Kentucky prepares for another assault against the Vikings in Minnesota. Oh, and the mighty Minnesotan Empire has fallen. And with this, Kentucky has literally completely sectioned off this portion of the map. With an encirclement of this size, no wonder they call him the Colonel. We're a little over halfway now, so I think it's time to revive another state. And it's gonna be Mississippi this time. The state with one of the, uh, greatest standards of living is back. And here comes Washington, D.C. fighting West Virginia. And they got him. The feds have made their first move and have taken out all of West Virginia. Hey, let's hope you get revived a second time. Imagine if they just, like, reconquered the entire United States. Surely that won't happen. Okay, that was a close one. I thought I was gonna be D.C. for a second there. No, it's Wisconsin. Maybe Indiana and Ohio will finally get to do something. It seems that they will. Hmm, the Hoosiers versus the cheese heads. I wonder who will win. An interesting turn of events. The Hoosiers win. Wisconsin's great invasion plan has backfired on them, and they're now a part of the greater Hoosier empire now. You know, I've been doing geography stuff for like years now, but I still have no idea what Hoosier actually means. And now Ohio is going to get a turn, and they're going against Indiana. Could they be getting revenge for Wisconsin? And they do it. The Ohioans are getting revenge in Wisconsin's memory. Apparently, they also have have no idea what a Hoosier is. And Rhode Island is finally doing something? Attacking Vermont, I see. The small state is going for a big expansion. Ah, uh, <laughs> Unfortunately for Rhode Island, it was not meant to be. They didn't even get a chance. Sorry, Rhode Island. Mississippi is now making its first move since being revived. <laughs> and they'll be going against New Jersey. Yeah, I think they're really regretting taking Puerto Rico now. No way. No shot. No way. I, I think New Jersey heard me. Never mind. I guess uh, having Puerto Rico has greatly benefited them because they just took Mississippi. New Jersey is like the cockroach of this game. They always find a way to somehow survive. Sorry, Mississippi, but you're out once again. All right, we have Oregon. And they're battling against Arizona. Ooh, that was close. Narrowly lost. Arizona finally gets a coastline and now nearly controls the entire West Coast. Soon, 120. 20 degree heat waves will be normal across the entire country. Oh, we may have the final showdown of the Pacific here. If Hawaii chooses to fight Arizona, it will decide who will own the entire Pacific coast. Oh, but no, they're actually gonna go fight Idaho. Coastline? Who cares about that? All I know is potatoes. Will they get them though? They will, they will. They're gonna get the potatoes. Hawaii was on a mission and they accomplished it.
it. They now have a complete monopoly on the state's supply of potatoes. We're now getting down to the last few states, so I think it's time for another revival. No shot. No shot. Don't tell me. Okay. That was that was a men that was a nanometer away from landing on Mississippi. Oregon is back, but now they're only a shell of their former self. And Ohio strikes again. If they manage to take out Kentucky, they control almost all of the Midwest. And they'll be fighting against the Pennsylvanians. Oh, oh, this is close. Oh, Ohio narrowly loses. Pennsylvania went from being part of New Jersey to now owning almost the entire Great Lakes region. I feel like there's a bit of tension between Kentucky Fried Chicken and Philly cheesesteaks over here. All right, the Mormons are at it again, and they'll be showing up at a doorstop near Nebraska. I was about to make a joke about Nebraska, but then I realized that Colorado has not done anything. I think they are the only state other than Tennessee. Them and Tennessee, the two states that have not done anything this entire game. They're like the Switzerland's of the USA. Well, there we have it. The Mormons have won. Like, I'm pretty sure Utah at this point is trying to make the worst borders for a state possible. Nebraska, you deserve better. Look who's back. Look who is back. New Jersey. I wonder what they're gonna do this time. Let's see who's facing off against New Jersey. Arkansas. Okay. Now, I know you may be thinking, but isn't Arkansas all the way over here? Well, you gotta remember, New Jersey owns Mississippi. <laughs> please, Arkansas. Please, Arkansas win. Arkansas win. Arkansas, yes. They're gone. Say goodbye to New Jersey. Okay, well... <sighs> I don't think this is much better because, yes, Arkansas gets Mississippi. Okay, that makes sense. They're right there. They also get Puerto Rico as well. Okay, well, that, that's fine. They have a coastline now, but now they also get New Jersey. So now, canonically, Vermont and Arkansas now have a border. I don't know how I feel about that. Like, I knew this map was going to get bad, but I was not expecting this. Ooh, DC added it again. Who are the feds going after this time? The Colonel. Oh, no. Maybe those 11 herbs and spices aren't what we think they are. <sighs> the feds got him. Hey, Colonel, I'm sorry, buddy, but there's nothing I can do for you here. Now, Minnesota, Iowa, Illinois, Missouri, Kentucky, Virginia, West Virginia, and Maryland have all returned to federal hands. They're gonna take over the whole nation again at this rate. Tennessee is finally making a move. Mmm. Arkansas. If Tennessee wins this, they're going to take all of this, Puerto Rico, and New Jersey. And I also just realized now I forgot to take this part of Virginia away. Ooh, okay. A narrow loss. The borders are saved for now. Colorado is also still neutral. And the Northeast has kind of been chilling for a while as well. Next is Delaware against Arkansas. Again, Arkansas does indeed own New Jersey. <gasps> No way. No shot. Oh, there we have it. Delaware went from literally doing nothing the entire game to now owning New Jersey, all of Arkansas, as well as Puerto Rico. A massive win for uh, Joe Biden. Okay, I guess the map is uh, kind of cleaning up a little. Not really. Could it be? Colorado. They've broken their neutrality. You know something's up. The slumbering beast has awoken. And they have three places where they can go. Utah, which owns this and all of this. Delaware, that owns this, this, and... Don't forget about Puerto Rico. And just a tiny little border here allows them to also take Arizona, or at least fight them. <sighs> They'll be going for Delaware if they win this. I'm gonna lose it. Okay, they lost it. Imagine being neutral the entire game just to lose to Delaware. That's tough. We also haven't had another revival in a while. Let's see who will return. Oh God. Ohio is back. Their return has now split Pennsylvania into two. DC is at it again. Oh, Ohio comes back and the feds are not liking that. Treating them like they're a nuclear level threat or something. Oh my God, just give me close. Oh my God. That was so close. The feds are gone, boys, because now Ohio has taken their place. Ohio returns, conquers the feds, and refuses to elaborate. Looks like Hawaii is gonna attack Oregon. You know, I'm slightly caught off guard because that is a very normal state to conquer in Hawaii's position. Because, uh, <laughs> let's look at the rest of the country real quick here. Not many normal expansions, if you can see. And they, they, they do it. They beat Oregon. Okay. Yeah, that is, uh... Um, that is something that has happened. Yep. 
Mm -hmm. Okay, moving on. All right, Utah is going to be going against Delaware. You know what? No matter what happens here, the borders will actually look marginally better. We won't have this little one inch connection between this side of Utah and this side of Utah. I think this is a good thing. This is a good thing. All right, let's see what happens. All right, it's it's all going to Delaware. Finally, some decent looking borders for once. Of course, uh, Delaware is still all the way over here, but we don't need to pay attention to that. Look at this. This is nice. I like this. Now it's Arizona. Delaware again. Delaware has really been getting a lot of action recently. Okay, there we go. Looks like Delaware has crossed the entire country. I believe Delaware is now the first state to have a coast on both the Pacific and the Atlantic Ocean simultaneously. You know, I'm gonna be real. I didn't think Delaware would be the one to do it, but hey, they did it. I gotta give thanks to Delaware. They've really cleaned this place up a bit. There's nothing besides... Ignore Tennessee. Besides Tennessee, there's just nothing shutting out, nothing too border gore here. I like this. Let's let's keep it like this, please. All right, Hawaii. It's either South Dakota or Delaware here. Looks like it's gonna be South Dakota. All right, we haven't heard from South Dakota in a minute. They've just been idly watching. This could be their moment. Will it be? Yes, it will. They've broken out of their landlocked state and finally have gained a coastline and a massive one at that. So now it seems that most of the fighting will now be focused on the east coast. Florida's back at it again. You know, ever since their big expansion earlier in the video, Florida has remained relatively quiet. I don't know if I like that. But who knows, they're probably just gonna, you know, try to take Alabama or something, right? Oh. I should not have expected any less from Florida, man. Single-handedly trying to take down the largest state on this map. <gasps> Could it be? Florida man taken down by Delaware. Yet another state falls to the hands of Delaware. I did not think I'd be saying that. Delaware is just going against everyone, I guess. And since Delaware technically has a border with every single state, yes, even Massachusetts, remember? We got Puerto Rico, we got a Puerto Rico down here. That means every state's gonna be involved in this role. And Delaware's next prey is Alabama. This could either be just another victim of Delaware or the biggest comeback in this entire video. No way. Delaware, the almighty Delaware, the supreme and revered Delaware has now been eliminated by Alabama. You know, maybe the real strategy was doing nothing the entire game because apparently it's worked out swimmingly for World Tide. This has turned the power dynamic of this video completely on its head. But before we get on to our final few states, I think we need to revive one more. Alaska. The polar bears have returned. We all thought they were gone, but no, no, no. They were just hiding in their igloos. Alabama again. And they'll be taking on Massachusetts. Of course, this is but a simple feat for Alabama. Unfortunately, clam chowder couldn't save them. Alabama again? Yeah, they are not stopping. Okay, Alabama woke up and chose violence. Directed specifically at Vermont. Hey, who knows? Maybe Vermont can pull it off. And that they can. Turning the Royale completely on its head once again, Vermont now conquers the entirety of Alabama. Alabama. There's got to be something in that Ben and Jerry's I don't know about. All right, the first battle of our final five is Pennsylvania versus Vermont. There's only five states left and Pennsylvania is going for the win. But unfortunately, their hubris would be their downfall. You know, it was a really good run for Pennsylvania. They were first part of New Jersey, then they came back. Then they conquered the entire Great Lakes. But unfortunately, they have succumbed to the might of Vermont. Our fourth to last attacker is is South Dakota, who will be facing Ohio. The last two Midwestern states will now be going head to head. But unfortunately for South Dakota, Ohio has come on top. There can only be one Midwestern state, and I guess that's Ohio. We now are left with three states, Alaska, Vermont, and Ohio. Our second to last battle will be between Ohio and Alaska. It's the largest state versus the um, most uh, unique state. Let's see what happens. And Ohio wins it. This means that we're now left with only Ohio and Vermont. Let's find out who will be attacking. Looks like Vermont is going to go on the offensive. This is it. The final battle for control over the entire United States. It's the home of Ben and Jerry's and Bernie Sanders versus Ohio. Let's just get onto it. Here it goes. The final spin. No way. 
no, 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 no. I cannot make this up. This legitimately just happened. Ohio just took over the entire United States. I wish I was rigging this. I wish I was rigging this, but I'm not. This legitimately happened. So Pennsylvania conquered Ohio. Then they got revived. Then they took out the feds. Now they own the entire United States. As much as it pains me to say this, it really is all Ohio. Yeah, that's, that's it. That's the end. Ohio won.